Welcome back to our ASC C1 test preparation. In our last video, we started to talk about shop operations. As you recall, we talked about scheduling jobs, maintaining customer logs, and managing after hours drop offs. Today, we will continue with shop operations with technician communication, parts availability, and monitoring the service process. Let's start with effectively communicating the customer concerns. This is probably one, if not the most important communication that needs to happen in the shop. Of course, you need to get the information correctly from the customer, but that transfer of the data to the repairing technician or the scheduler is also very important. The scheduler will use this data to assign the work to the proper technician. Having the proper skills to diagnose and complete the correct repair are essential to satisfying the customer's needs. Once assigned, these information bits will assist the technician on where to look and what the possible solution for repair will be. Every detail, regardless of how seemingly insignificant, can be a clue for the technician. Be sure not to leave out any customer information that they have communicated to you during the write-up process about the vehicle's condition. Once this diagnosis has been made, it is very important that you formulate your response and information to the customer. Be sure before you have them on the line that you understand the diagnosis, the suggested repair, and any potential questions they may have. It is very frustrating for the customer to be put on hold while you go get clarification on the repair. Another thing to have ready when you talk to the customer is parts availability. Especially in today's market, there are no for sure answers to availability. It's a key selling feature to tell a customer, here is what you need, we have the parts, and it will be done at agreed upon time. Selling a job and then finding out the parts are not available is a recipe for disaster. While you are gathering the diagnosis, parts, and repair information from the technician, it's also very important that you get an agreed upon completion time. Again, parts availability is a key ingredient to determining this time. Be sure to allow for test drives, cleanup, and any administrative time you need. When you give the customer an expected time, it better be as accurate as possible. Whatever method you use to track your customer's vehicle, be sure to monitor its progress. Some electronic systems have alerts set in them if something has not gone according to a plan. The most important thing here is you have to put all the correct information in for it to monitor it. You must follow up. This is not a set it and forget it issue. Manual tracking systems are no different. They must be updated and followed throughout the process. Customers showing up for an incomplete vehicle is a sure way to degrade customer satisfaction. That's all for today. Join us next time when we discuss in our final segment on shop operations. See you then, and thanks for being with us.